Hey, it's Maya back on this video and as y'all see by the title, today I'm going to be filming a simple and easy hygiene routine. This is how I stay clean, healthy, smell good, feel good. I have my main products in front of me that I want to talk about that I feel like everybody should have in their routine, okay? So this isn't like an everything shower routine. This is just tips and tricks that I love. Eating and drinking water is a big result for your overall health. You have to be eating good. Like, I'm not saying, like, eat out, don't eat fast food. Like, girl, because I be eating out, I be eating fast food. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like eat vegetables and eat fruit you still want to be healthy on the inside yes you can eat all this fast food and stuff that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying keep it balanced and eat healthy food especially drinking water make sure you're drinking water i personally don't drink soda anymore i really stopped drinking soda just because of my skin i stopped drinking soda a long time ago like when i was like 13 honestly i stopped drinking soda a while back and i'm not saying i never drink soda i do drink soda like when i go out to eat or you know if like i'm at a party or like if i'm at an event or something and that's like the only thing they have is soda that's what i'm gonna drink but make sure you just have a balance in what you eat and drink next tip i have is washing your hands washing your hands come a long way i feel like yes you may wash your hands after you use the bathroom like wash your hands hourly just oh i just scratched myself just wash them and make sure that you keep your hands clean especially if you're struggling with acne especially like with covid and stuff i mean i know covid isn't around anymore but just make sure you're washing your hands anyway i filmed a curly hair routine so if you guys really want like an in-depth curly hair routine go to this video but this is my number one hair product and if you've already watched that video you probably already know what i'm about to show y'all but this is my number one hair product to making your hair smell really really good pillow soft curls pillow soft curls oh my gosh i smelled the other one this one is probably the most strongest smelling one and it will have your hair smelling so good like so good y'all of course i don't have any right now because i have braids but it will have your hair smelling so good like i always get compliments on how good my hair smells when when i have that in my hair and it also works good as like a curly hair product too let's go ahead and start with the face so i will do an updated skincare routine soon but this is a face wash i use i do have acne prone skin and this face wash works very very good for acne prone skin the thing you need to wash your face with i feel like my main tip with washing your face is using one of these it's a silicone scrub i'm pretty sure i don't know what it's really called but it's, it's silicone this will last you a while but it will also prevent bacteria I, when i stopped using a rag to wash my face even though i would like change my rag out like, i would change my rag out a lot but when i did stop using a rag i really noticed a difference in my skin truthfully y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all because i've been through it with my skin and look how my skin looks now i might have a little makeup on but underneath this makeup girl is clear okay I say definitely switch whatever you have out with a silicone scrub. They have other different ones. They have like a little vibrating one too, but just switch it out, okay? And always wash your hands before you wash your face. Wash your face with warm water and rinse with cold water. That shit feels so good, especially in the morning to wake you up. Okay, so for my makeup, the way I remove my makeup is melicella water and then cotton swaps. I recommend this over any makeup wipes and anything because... This shit will have your face clean. We'll get every single little bit of makeup off, even like waterproof mascara. I love it so much, y'all. That's my favorite thing to remove my makeup with. That's the only thing I use. I've actually used other Melisilla waters, not just the blue one. I've used the yellow one, the pink one. I've used a lot, but I just say any Melisilla water works. First, when I get in the shower, I go in with Dove Sensitive Soap and a white rag. I use Dove Sensitive Soap. I've been using it for a while. I know a lot of people say that's a beauty bar and stuff, but I just feel like it works for me and I don't like changing stuff up. I also use that to clean, clean down there, but I clean down there like last. Like that's the last thing I do. I'll just go over my body with it too. Okay, and then next I go in with my Dr. Bronner's Soap. This shit will have you squeaky clean. When I tell y'all squeaky clean, and in this, if you struggle with back knee, I feel like getting a exfoliating rag is literally the best thing. You will feel so clean and so like soft after you use this. You can get this off Amazon. This is actually cut. It used to be longer than this, but I cut it because it was like it was it was too um too big. I've been using these for a while i use some exfoliating gloves actually i stopped using exfoliating gloves for a while just because i really just was honestly using this because exfoliating gloves and this is kind of like the same thing but i really want to throw away my rag not throw away my rag but you know like stop using rags and just go straight into like some exfoliating gloves i feel like when you use exfoliating gloves you can really get 
clean and get into your creases and crevices with these flooding gloves that's why i love me some exfoliating gloves so i'll just use that when i feel like i need to i'll use it for my dove sensitive soap to wash around my body or like just anything honestly what i feel like doing but definitely this and Dr. Bonner's is my main thing that I use. Okay, so next I want to go into with some Dove body soap. So this is the antibacterial care. Actually, I just got this yesterday from Target. Y'all, it's been a long two days, y'all. It's been a long two days. Like on my camera stolen, how to buy a new one. It's a whole thing. I'm going to do a story time in my next video when I get ready or something. But let's not even talk about it right now. So I just actually picked this up. So I really don't know how this works but i just wanted to put it in this video because i haven't tried it yet but i just use a dove body soap preferably a more cleaner one i don't really know how to explain it like this one i also use this one too for storing i don't use this in my chest and my back just because i have like really acne prone skin y'all but like on my arms my stomach my legs like this shit will have your skin very 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 soft and then oh my gosh and then this one right here y'all i need to buy me a new one it's never in target it's never in target it's like limited edition i don't know what it is but i think you can get off amazon hopefully because i'm gonna buy me some new ones i just ran out of mine sadly but that will literally have you feeling so soft for real honestly i'm just talking to y'all like this is a facetime call this is not even organized um i go in with like a cleaner dove body soap i use this again when you're using dr bronner's depending on how like what kind of skin you have if you have more drier skin you need to go in with like a restoring like a moisturizing body wash this is the one i use i don't use this every day i only use this when i feel like i need that moisture because i don't really like using moisture and stuff like around my chest and my back area because of my acne prone skin speaking of acne prone skin i use this this helps with for more even skin and it helps with like renewing that salicylic acid which helps with like you know back knee and like just anything like that that's really good i actually just started using this for about like two weeks now and i've already noticed a difference when I use this, I go in with a silicone body scrub. I don't really know what you call this, but a silicone body scrub. And I do this after everything else, like after I do my Dove, instead of Dove soap, and then do my Dr. Bronner's. Like, I do that after everything. I'm done kind of with body washes and stuff. Oh, okay, I want to I want to talk about this one too. I kept seeing this on my For You page and how everybody was like, they're so good. And I finally found this one in my Target two weeks ago. I already noticed a difference. And I just picked this one up yesterday. And it's the brightening one. So I'll let y'all know, like, in my vlogs and stuff when I start using this. I'll let y'all know how I feel about this. But, yeah, I can't wait to try this out. Okay, so now for a good smell good body wash. For a smell good body wash, I'll only put it on my arms and my legs. I don't know why I just don't feel comfortable putting it everywhere in my body. Because, yeah, it's just too much fragrance. But for a good smell good body wash this one i don't really like any of the other smells in this brand like i've smelled the other ones i don't really like them but this one is my favorite and this one it literally smells like perfume oh my gosh it smells so good y'all like it smells so good and i'm not over exaggerating like if you like perfume smelling like if you like a strong scent get this shit will have you smelling so good okay i get out the shower and my mom is downstairs cleaning she will literally smell me from all the way from my room which is crazy for shaving this is my number one tip i was never a big like shave gel shave cream kind of girl i would always just use soap like dove body soap or i even used conditioner one time and i said this in my last video i've been doing this for like a while now i don't have no itchiness i don't have no irritation or nothing get y'all some venus two-in-one cleanser and shave gel it's fragrance free it works so good i was always so scared and i'm talking about down there like shaving down there shaving your bikini area y'all i was always so scared to use like anything else besides something like that sensitive non-fragrance but i end up finding the shave gel and it's a cleanser as well too i don't use it as a cleanser works so good if you use this you use the hold on Hold on, I didn't get it yet. Okay, I forgot to grab it. But if you use this shave gel, Venus Pubic and what's it called? Pubic and Skin uh Razor too, like the one the exact one that looks just like this. The box looks just like this. And then after you're done shaving down there, okay. Fuck, I forgot y'all. Exfoliate first. Personally, I say exfoliate with like a tree hut scrub or like any scrub. Exfoliate your legs 
and anywhere else that you shave in like maybe your bikini area but like your whole brazilian your whole thing i say you're good with like a exfoliating rag or some exfoliating gloves because you don't want all of this to get down there personally i don't do that you might do it i don't prefer it i say no just stick to the exfoliating gloves while exfoliating down there i go in with my shave gel and then i use the exact same razor as this box then after i'm done and i get out of the shower i use this I've tried so many things in the past years to help with itchiness, irritation, razor bumps, and that is the best thing that has helped me. Now, disclaimer and warning, this will kind of burn a little bit when you put it on, but that burning will go away in like two seconds and it will literally like, you won't have no irritation, I'm telling y'all. So now that since we're, you know, getting out of the shower and stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with body care. I'm actually a little out of this shit low-key i need to get some new products y'all but i need to order it off amazon because they did not have this in terms i do this every single day y'all i do not go a day without putting lotion on and moisturizing because when i was little i used to never put lotion on like i used to be that person that never liked lotion but i started to really get into lotion so when i got shower if i shaved i'll use that soothing cream but if i didn't shave i won't use that i go in with some bio oil i'll put this everywhere and then this is a lotion i use y'all if y'all like a thick lotion use this okay that is my favorite lotion i just recently picked this one up it smells good but i've never tried it so i'm gonna try this and i'm gonna let y'all know how i like it i've seen a lot of people use this and i've seen a tiktok too some girl said that like the ingredients in here are like really good and they're not harsh so i can't wait to use this i'm gonna try this and i'm gonna let y'all know how i feel but i want to smell it again it smells good oh my gosh and in this one y'all this smell it has like a refreshing smell like you put that on you smell like you just got out the shower you smell refreshed that's a good smell i just smell so good i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna let y'all know how i like it Ooh, okay i don't think it's gonna be like that that kind of feels like this one a little bit after i put on my lotion and my bio oil for some smell good lotions I only put smuggle lotions on my arms and my legs. I either use this Brazilian bum bum cream, the yellow one. I'll use this and then I'll use this one, Bare Vanilla by Victoria's Secret. This moisturizes, but it also smells so good. This is the real key to really smelling good and making your smells last before you put on some perfume. Vanilla Musk. I literally just got this a couple months ago. It's like a fragrance oil, so it's very thick. It's very strong, and it literally lasts so long. I'll put it on as like perfume, and then I'll actually spray perfume over it. This is a perfume that I've been really liking. I love Good Girl Perfume. It's like a very clean smell. I'll put this on after my Vanilla Musk. I recently just got this one from Brie, if y'all watched the um sleepover vlog, the little week in my life. And I think this one beats the yellow one low-key i think this one beats the yellow one i feel like this one's more like of a like a stronger kind of perfume cleaner smell and this one is more like a like a vanilla warm kind of scent but yeah those are the smell good lotions that i use i have all my products in front of me i'm trying to figure out what else i didn't oh okay Come on. when you wash your hands use a nail scrub i say this so much especially if you always wear nails and you even if you don't have nails use a nail scrub i don't know how much dirt and bacteria really gets under your nails until you start using it those girls okay so now for my deodorant i'm out of both of them y'all well i lied i just went to target and couldn't find it sheer powder and then even in the uh spray one y'all i love that scent so much it has such a baby powder scent to it and it's so strong like i literally do this and i can smell my deodorant that shit smells so good i'm sorry i keep saying everything smells so good because it does smell so good ever since i smelled that deodorant i have not used another deodorant actually though i recently just picked this deodorant up this dove deodorant fuck i just sprayed that on my camera i don't think it did anything this one smells so good i feel like all dove spray deodorants are very strong and i love a good spray deodorant so i've recently started to get on the hype about this ordinary glycolic acid for hyperpigmentation under your armpits and i think you can use it in other places too but i only use it under my armpits and it already works y'all i feel like if one thing tiktok got right is that literally i started using it after like five days and i already seen a difference definitely put this on when you get out of the shower that's what i say definitely put this on when you get out of the shower but i say don't put deodorant on right over this like give your armpits a break maybe like when you get out the shower put it on let it dry some and if you're the type of person to like sweat in your sleep then you can put on deodorant but i personally say don't put deodorant 
on right after you use this because i feel like it won't work for real because i was a little confused on like what should i do you know because i like to wear deodorant to sleep sometimes just because i feel like you know sometimes i'll be hot in my sleep and stuff if you use that don't wear deodorant to sleep preferably okay so now for oral care oh and i just left my cabinet open hold up okay so i use multiple toothpastes Y'all probably like, what the fuck? So, for my number one toothpaste, if y'all have tried this, and if y'all do try this, don't cover me. It's nasty as f It tastes so nasty. It has baking soda in it. It's a baking soda toothpaste. And, oh my gosh, girl, this shit will have your teeth very, very white. You won't need no whitener, no nothing. This is nasty. It doesn't really have, like, a minty taste to it. It does, but, like, the baking soda really overpowers it. I use this. I just actually just started using this one. I would be use like a Colgate one, a Crest one. Like honestly, just whatever I feel like it. But this is my main toothpaste to keep my teeth white and clean too. But I'll go in with like a little Colgate toothpaste. If you've been looking for a good no fluoride toothpaste because I've heard that like fluoride is actually kind of bad for your teeth. I use this one. It's the Dr. Bonner's all-in-one toothpaste. It's fluoride free and it's organic. It has organic green ingredients. It really works. Like I don't know what it is with no fluoride but I feel like I see a big difference when I use this more than when I use a Crest Colgate one but I just feel like I can't get like away from like Crest and Colgate because of how like minty my breath feels and my tongue feels and stuff like that especially like brushing your teeth and stuff not brushing your teeth brushing your tongue and stuff but yeah and then for a mouthwash so i use this brand i'm actually you know trying different ones i've tried the pink one the blue one and now i'm on the green one the pink one out of all the three the pink one is my favorite this one is good too this one i personally don't like personally this isn't strong enough for me yes it might be working like to you know not have bacteria and stuff yeah but it's just not enough for me like i don't know it's just not enough i say either this one or the pink one my favorite is the pink one for floss honestly just any floss I just use any floss. I actually did get some new floss. Yesterday I got some new floss. Um, actually it's the same kind of floss. It's just, it's like advanced clean or something. I haven't tried it yet. Any floss is fine. Make sure you floss. I brush your teeth, floss, and then mouthwash. Because like after you floss, your gums will be kind of open a little bit and then mouthwash will go in them and stuff. And then I just picked up some new Crest whitening strips. I've used them before. They actually work. If you guys want like an at-home whitening thing, get some Crest whitening strips. Um, But this one actually has the daily whitening serum. So I'm going to try this and I'm going to let y'all know in like a vlog in the future so i think that's kind of all of my hygiene stuff y'all these are like my main products that i never will give up that i love using that will make you smell good get really really clean this video was kind of all over the place but again this was like this was like a little facetime like showing y'all my like favorite products and stuff so hopefully y'all enjoyed the video if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask them in the description below stay tuned for more vlogs and videos happy vlogmas day and i will see y'all in my next video bye y'all